Aloha Hive and Tribe. This is Pink Bella. Welcome back. All Star Seeds Lightworkers and Pass 144,000. I have a mini transmission and we're going to get into some um, energies that we're going to be dealing with this month. It's a very, very powerful month. So this is about December. I'm going to go over a little bit of all the astrology for this month. Plus we have a full moon in Gemini. The gateway is already open for me. Neptune just went direct. Wow, we have a lot to cover. I'm just going to pull a few cards today because I will most likely be creating another video around the full moon and getting into some of this a little bit deeper. So thank you everyone for being here and for liking, subscribing and sharing. I really, really appreciate you. And this of course allows this message to um, reach out to more star seeds, Blu-rays, 144,000. And of course, all of you on Divine Union. So we'll see what comes forward today. So specifically, Oh, I want to just make some announcements too. So just do a little housework. If any of you would like to work with me, all the details are in the description box below. There are offers on for both distance and video sessions. There's also a super exciting, um, oh, I'm, I'm starting and launching something called an Aloha Portal of Light membership where we can all gather on Zoom calls uh, twice a month. And that's being activated right now. And if you wanted to still join, there's still some um, spots. You can join either um, via Square or PayPal. All the information is on my website. There's a, a link button. It's actually on the second page of my website, but there is some information at the top. Please check that out. Email me if you have any questions. We have a bonus Zoom class tomorrow to help us uh, prepare for the full moon and for this week and basically for the month of uh, December. So you're all welcome to join and we'll be working together for the next three months through uh, December, January and February. We'll be clearing, activating, aligning, uh, working with the Akashic Records. Uh, I'll be bringing in light language. I'm super excited to work with you all. So yeah, so check that out. That's the Aloha Portal of Light membership. Right now, it's just gonna run until the end of February and then I'm going to reassess and see um, after that, then it might just end up being three months at a time. So we'll see. So whoever is called, you are most welcome. And definitely the most popular session at this time is either a star seeds, um, a quantum Akashic record reading and healing and clearing session, or uh, some of the packages because you can work, uh, work with that multiple ways, but also the, um, the new advanced, um, Jay Seal session, super excited. I'm so glad for all, all of you that are being called for that session. It's been incredibly powerful for me. And, um, and I just feel light as air now. Like it just feels like oh, relief. Um, I also wanted to talk today a little bit about uh, the matrix, which came in really, really strongly this time last year and the false light matrix. So I'm just gonna check in and see. Oh, they want me to talk about this now. Okay, so we're constantly going to be releasing levels of the matrix like even we'll get to a certain point it's just like with these new tags and seals that i was shown we'll get to a certain point where there's going to be another level and a layer to release and why is that because we're still here down here on the planet and no matter how hard we try to move away from everything you know that's that's pulling our vibration down, we're still here on assignment. We're still here to raise our vibration and, um, and ascend and clear as much as possible. And we're all at different levels and we're all at different time frames. So my feeling is, is that information is brought to me and to many others to bring to you all when it's time for us to do another, like, like let's clear it out, okay? So, let's just talk about the matrix for a little bit as well. So the matrix is everything in and around us. The movie was a documentary. Um, it, we, we only are shown what we're ready to be shown. Like even us as star seeds and light workers and 144,000 and Blu-rays and white lighters, we're only given what we can kind of handle to expand our neural pathways and our consciousness when we're ready. And we're all like, we're just quantum jumping. We're clearing out so much information. So this is a really, really powerful month. We're in fabulous Sagittarius energy right now to align with our highest timeline and then for Paris for 2023, of course. So let's talk a little bit about different words that I use and um, basically what we're doing is we're healing and we're releasing belief systems. And as star seeds, 
we want to move out of our boxes as soon as possible. So even some of the words that I share are activators. I am a light code cracker and activator. So I'm, and I started in tech as a computer programmer. So that was to help me remember my galactic abilities to help all of you best as possible. Okay. So we're literally remembering codes to help us expand higher. And then those codes need to lead to new codes, et cetera. So we can sort of get stuck in a loop. That's what Team D wants. They're still here. Even if many of them have been moved off planet, they're still able to access through technology um, and manipulate a lot of situations going on down here. So when we, everyone's dancing on the streets, everybody's free. Um, all of our, all of the, you know, the, um, everyone has a home, water, when that all happens, that means that the clearing out has been done. But until that happens, we're still um, going between many different realities and worlds. We're multidimensional. When something comes to me to clear, I'm clearing it past, present, parallel, future timelines, all the way back beyond Atlantis, all the way um, forward to the galactic wars. Many of the uh, tags and the seals that I've been clearing for myself and for all of you go right now to 2027. So that's mind boggling tech for someone who's new, but for myself, it's just like, oh my goodness, like what timeline is it on? What, how can I uh, clear and release this through love? So I work with teams of light to help me heal and clear for myself and for all of you. And then I also work with, of course, source universal energy. So let's talk about two other terms. Let's talk about the false light matrix and the, um, just as an example, and this is not, uh, this is not to call anybody out. This is actually really, really helpful. So a couple of things, this platform that I'm sharing on and the other platforms I'm sharing on are constantly being monitored and scanned, not by people, by technology, by the AI artificial intelligence okay so even all the comments that we write even things that i share are constantly being scanned and monitored so we're only able to share what we can share here and that's why i wanted to create like a portal for us all so if you're you really want to accelerate your um you really want to accelerate your journey that will be like a group portal that that's how we can do that okay uh, it'll it, it'll be a private portal where we can share what we need to share and I've also got a private chat group on Telegram as well, where we can talk in between sessions. So there's that. And of course, sessions are private as well. Like there's emails and of course the video calls, that's all private as well. And I always ask if I can share uh, results, okay? So what they were sharing with me is that we're leaping through different terminology, but everyone's at a different level. So when I share something like the matrix or the false life matrix, or you all do, that's gonna be picked up by the technology, by a scan, by a bot, but it's also to help all activate you to remember. So we're not to get too hung up on terms and being stuck in boxes for too long. I know um, the twin flame journey is an incredibly intense uh, reality and terminology, and it's like an accelerated ascension activation. But some of you, like myself included, uh, can get stuck in that box for years, and that's that can keep you in a circle, a loop of suffering. So if as soon as we recognize that we're in suffering, that we're in a loop in our mind about anything that is being fed off of. So that is still part of the matrix, okay? The other thing is, is that the false light matrix was also created by these beings. It's part of the matrix, the original matrix. It was it was uh, an envision in the future of knowing many souls would leave, let's say, um, structured religions and move into other areas. And there's been nothing wrong about any path that anyone's taken. There is no judgment. There's no right or wrong. But it's been about us, about many of us as starseeds and light workers and 144,000 to go, no, that doesn't resonate anymore. No, I need to peel that layer off. So we're moving very, very quickly through all of that. Okay. So but what'll happen is then we'll start reading things that other people are sharing. People will be talking about that's false light, that's wrong. And we just talked about a little bit about this last week. They want us to be in our minds. They want us to second guess everything. They want us to not believe what we just 
found, maybe we just found a tool that really works well for us, but then we read something saying, no, that's false light. And then we get all in our head and we get all stressed and in fear again. That's the plan always uh, to keep us in a loop. There's also subliminal messages and frequencies going out to all of us every single moment of every day to throw us off path and keep us in fear. So that game is still continuing, okay? So let's look at a couple of terms. And this is, again, not calling anyone out. I thought this was really great example. So thank you for sharing this. So someone had read or heard recently that the term higher self was invalid. It was part of the false light matrix. So looking from it at both sides. So for me, when I talk about higher self, I'm talking about my heart. I'm talking about my heart being connected to source universal energy. I embody the latest version of my higher self. Like I, we go through, you know, the upgrades and the downloads, we're literally embodying codes, new information and a new connection with source universal energy, but we label it different things. So I'm not sure why somebody would call that part of the false light matrix, except if they're getting that information, they too are in the false light matrix. Can you see? It's like a, it's like, let's send them back to second guessing everything and being in fear and not trusting everything. So I just want to share with you all that's the game. And I also the false light matrix is still another level of the matrix. And so we have to use divine discernment. We have to have tools for ourselves every day that we connect with our, you know, source universal energy, our higher, our guides. You know, there are teachers that don't believe we have guides. There are others who, who say that we do. You have to sort of find your own way of what, how it fits for you. As long as we're in our hearts, we're in love and our, our heart is open. That's the challenging part for all of us is to stay in our heart. Okay. So hopefully that answers some of the questions and I'll be, again, we'll be getting into deeper levels of this through um, personal sessions, of course, and also through the portal of light membership. So super excited. Okay. I want to go through some of the astrology for this month because it's already pretty intense. And let me just go to this. Okay, so for December forecast, this is actually from Grabber Conscious. I love her overviews for the month. So first off, right now, we are literally, Neptune just went direct on the third. Um, what she's saying is we can receive confirmation for our intuitive feelings. What I've recently seen posted about Neptune direct is Neptune is about illusions. So literally for the last six months, we've been in this haze, this illusion uh, both individually and collectively, and we're being allowed to kind of move forward and see more of the truth. Okay. Um, at, we're also in an Antari Stargate portal. So I thought that was pretty exciting. We're always, we're always able to connect with our star councils and our guides, but this is for those of you who connect, who connect to the Antari system, it's an Antari Stargate portal that finishes tomorrow. It's high vibrational and it's a heart awakening. So I'm already seeing that this month is about a massive heart awakening and joy. So I'm already feeling, I've been feeling the Christmas joy. Even if I don't celebrate it, I'm feeling that frequency and that energy because we've all worked so hard this year. We've worked so hard, everybody. And we need some fun and some joy that will keep our vibration high, okay? So that's going on. We have a Gemini full moon, okay? Mars energy right now is in Gemini. Mars is intense. It's well, there's multiple levels above Mars, but Mars it itself represents very masculine, fiery energy. And it can bring up arguments, fights, misunderstandings, and anger. Okay. So that's going on. The Gemini, now we've got it's in Gemini. This full moon is in Gemini. I actually had a, an assignment with two astrologers who let me know it was a Gemini full moon two weeks ago because my main sign that I chose to come in is Gemini. So I was already being warned by it. So it's around um, setting boundaries for ourselves and uh, enforcing boundaries with others, pulling our energy back in so we can be in joy. There's going to be some misunderstandings. We also have a Mercury retrograde that's not going to start until the end of the month. However, for me personally, I feel like I'm already in it. So I, I usually do go through the lessons and the energies a couple of weeks early. So I feel like this Gemini full moon, it can be intense for some of you. So just warning you about that. We are, we're already in the portal. It's officially the seventh or the eighth. So what does it say? Heated energy around this full moon. It is okay to express yourself, find balance between your human versus spiritual side. I was also getting, if anybody is imbalanced, any imbalances in your emotional or mental body, 
there's going to be some people in and around our realities that might have meltdowns. That might be you. I've had that many, many times through some of these full moon and new moon portals. So just be aware that you may be shown where your imbalances are. Okay. You might be highly charged and emotional. All right. December 8th. We also have Venus is crossing the galactic center. So more heart awakening and energy. It, that's fantastic. Then, um, of course, the 12th, we have a 12-12 portal. And it's a day of spiritual graduation. It's some, I've had so many profound insights on the 12-12 gateway. Um, December 18th, 20th, we're preparing. Obviously, we're preparing for the solstice gateway. That's the next powerful activation. Uh, the 18th and the 20th is the sun is on the galactic center. Powerful, powerful activations and downloads for all of us this month. We are reconnecting to our starseed origins, strong, abundant energy, reminding us that all things are possible. And we're still in, we're still in Sagittarius until the 20th of December. Okay. Then we have the December 20th, Jupiter enters Aries, which is a, a, again, a very, very um, powerful energy. It's recon. Okay. Let me just see. Signature for the energy of 2023, Jupiter and Aries supports our new ideas, innovation, and independence and sovereignty, all right? The 20th, 21st of December starts the solstice gateway, but it'll start a few days before that. It is a time to honor both light and dark, a transition point that brings strong energy. It's set, I love the solstice. It's been one of my favorite gateways for years. Then on the 23rd, we have, yes. By the way, the solstice brings in the Capricorn season. So happy birthday. We'll be moving into Capricorn season, which is get, get it, getting things done, right? Um, on the December 23rd, there is, yeah, Capricorn new moon and Chiron goes direct. So Chiron's about the wounded inner child or the wounded healer. So grounding healing energy, a healing breakthrough is possible at this time. On the 29th of December, Mars goes right. Mars. Mercury goes retrograde. This retrograde is strong due to Mars also being retrograde. Oh my goodness. Slow down, conserve your energy. So, okay. And so Mars is still retrograde. And then the thing is, is that Mars is in Gemini. Mercury also rules Gemini plus um, Virgo. Thank you. Okay. I can already tell my neural pathways are getting crossed. So I wanted to share that all with you. And let me just talk a little bit about the full moon. So this full moon is quite unpredictable energy. You will feel a lot to say. However, you may find yourself struggling to find the right words to communicate effectively. This can cause frustration and misunderstanding. So we're not to take anything personally. Um, I've been finding that sometimes I leave voicemails because I get super tired being on my devices and texting after a while really starts to drain me. But I've been finding even my voicemails don't seem to, I have to clarify them. So I've been writing clarification as well. Um, so we're already, like I said, this full moon is already preparing us for the Mercury retrograde. Uh, on a vibrational plane, the words you say or think will manifest instantly. So we're to really watch what we're thinking what about our conversations. The universe is listening very closely at this time. The full moon will teach us a lot about subconscious self-expression, yours and the people around you. So I feel like it's a time to really pull back, go within and and work on our manifestations as well. Uh, this full moon would also awaken the dormant power, gifts, miracles, and magic, M-A-G-I-C-K. With you, this is a powerful time of inner transformation as you begin to have a deeper understanding of your purpose and your soul mission here on earth. So a fabulous time for us all, okay? All right. So as I'm shuffling the deck, and of course this is at the bottom of the deck, um, I'm just gonna let you all know that the, uh, Portal classes this month will be for the 1212 gateway and also the solstice gateway. Okay. So dates and times are coming. They will all be recorded if that's something that uh, resonates with you. And I'm also booking in and around the 1212 gateway. I've got a couple spots left, but then from there to the uh, solstice gateway, there's an opportunity to book in for that as well. Okay. Let me just hold this up because this, this was at the bottom of the deck, the Stargate Hearts. So we're going through such a massive heart activation. It's so exciting. A heart chakra opening, unlocking generosity. To me, that is the full message for the whole month of December. All right, right up to the closest gateway. So let me just, I'm um, going to pull one message for all star seeds, one message for Blu-rays, one message for 
44,000, one message for white lighters and light workers, and then one message for all of us. Okay, so let me just ask the best messages for all star seeds. Oh, okay, you're set, telling me to send to pull a message for uh, divine unions and twin flames. Okay, so this is for all star seeds. It's the angelic frequency, and which are a reminder that we are angelic, that many of us are gaining more more access to our wings okay angels are here you are safe a potent connection with your angelic team okay next card is for the blue rays i may have done this and i may have set a different order so i'll just go through i'm going through the list in my mind what they're giving me so the next card is for blue rays all blue ray sources going through a third eye activation at this time and this week brow chakra inner vision clear seeing so we're really to tap into our, um, our intuitive abilities, our superpowers. So this one is going to be for the 144,000, and this just flew out. 144,000 is also you're connected to the angelic frequency that I just shared. Going to pull one more for the 144,000, which is an activation code. Okay. All right, star seed healing codes are coming in for all that resonate with 144,000. Important information is coming in, wounds are healing and we are recharging. The next one is for the light workers and the white lighters. Pleiadian activation for all of you, okay? So many of you as light workers and white lighters are remembering more of your star seed origins. Coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolutions are coming, all right? This message is gonna be for divine unions and or twin flames. Okay. Got the Stargate heart. So you're all going through a massive heart awakening and heart chakra opening and healing. Heart chakra opening, unlocking generosity. A reminder that there's not just partnership love, that you're learning about unconditional love. You're learning about loving having compassion for all beings, including animals and the earth. Okay. All right. So this is going to be the final message for all of us um, for this video. We're going through an Akashic Stargate. So we have many, many doors and portals of access that we can choose through this week and through this full moon. So we're aligning with our purpose. We're at, some of us that are, are at a crossroads and there's no wrong path. All right. Thank you all so, so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you for sharing, liking, subscribing. Um, I'm, I will be back soon. And again, if you would like to work with me, check out the description box below and just email me. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Love and aloha. Mahalo nui loa. Take care, everyone.